Okay, so I thought I would do a another video share of my craft room. Things have changed yet again since the last time I did one of these, and I'm doing it with my phone. I'm going to try to hold it as still as I can so that you don't get all dizzy, okay? So anyway, as you walk in, this is what you see in my craft room. Now, I used to have nothing in the middle of the floor on this shag rug, but... In another bedroom down the hall, I had this quilting table unit because my intentions were to sometimes maybe quilt, but it's really not my passion and I just never went into that room and we needed the spare room a couple of months ago and I didn't want to get rid of this unit. It's made out of two closet made units and then with a melamine, I think you call it, countertop on the top. So I have all the cubby holes for different things that you see down there. And then I have the big countertop for my big cutting machines. And I really like that. So let me just um, move around a little bit. Right here as you come in the door is another one of those closet made units. I put a lot of my finished projects on these. And just miscellaneous things that I store. I'm not going to go in through everything. This is where I put my sewing machine and my iron, and this is a ironing board top on this counter. So over the, across the way is where I keep my artisan cardstock. And in this big basket, I have Country Craft Creations paper collections that I've already made projects with. And then down here is where I put some that I have not used yet. Uh, most of those containers are empty right now, so I don't have anything in those. Okay, further over here, this unit here is from um, Oriental Trading Company. I can't remember the name of it. And that's where I put my tote bags that I am that I use if I'm going away somewhere and want to take some crafting with me. And then I also have my sewing machine, a lot of sewing stuff in there. As I'll do in that little green cabinet there, I have... Uh, the two sets of drawers all the way down, I have my sewing scissors and threads and things like that. And then the drawers on the far right here, I keep um, things like rhinestones and flatback pearls and uh, those little shaker bits that you want to put in there. And on the top, I have some of my toys and projects and things that I like to keep. This unit here is from Home Depot, and I've labeled most of these. This is where I keep small things like hitching posts and stick pins, keys, charms, different things like that that I that I need a lot of every now and then, and so I keep them in that. This back behind here is behind my computer, so that's all my plug-in stuff. So down in this cabinet, I have these art bins. The top one has laces, because I have a lot of different kinds of lace from stashes. The next one is uh, some projects I need to remake. And then the next two are virtual retreat kits. And I actually have the one that's coming up, the July 2022 virtual retreat kits in there. And in the closed drawers, I have uh, projects that are finished. And the little tiny drawers over there, just miscellaneous things like extra supplies, like uh, Sharpie markers and tape and things like that. So I'm not gonna go through all that. Okay, so on the end of this big cutting table that I have in the middle of the floor, I have these cubbies here and I'm going to sit down so I can kind of show you maybe and hold it still. I have um, my dies, my cutting mats, you can see there, I have my Copic markers, um, my uh, seam binding ribbon by the rolls, and I actually keep them. I have three Plano fishing, um, can't think what they're called, fishing, uh, the fishing string spool <laughs> holders. I can't think of what they're called, but I got them at um, Cabela's. Uh, years ago and I love using those. I'll show you one in a minute here. I'll open it up and then next to that I have my tricolor spectrum 
and some inks sets there that I have. And then down below, I have more dies, some kits of card kits that I haven't made yet. And then my electric right there, my electric big shot. I like it, but you know what? This one up here, this orange hand crank tonic one actually cuts better. So I use it more than I use the electric one. So let me pause a minute and I'll show you my uh, container for my seam binding ribbon spools, rolls. Okay, so I have three of these. They're by Plano. They're for fishing, um, the fishing line on your, that you buy by the spool or something like that. And I can get 10, 10 rolls, spools of uh, seam binding ribbon in there. Now it has the holes. I took the little rubber things out. Uh, you could stick your ribbon through there, but there's only six. And then you pull through like that. But I didn't want that. I just take the whole spool out. So I have three of these that are completely full of my seam binding ribbon. Okay, this right here is my cutter for chipboard. I've had this for years. It's a wood premier guillotine. Very, very sharp. Works great on chipboard. I know a lot of you use the uh, dolly trimmer, but I don't see any need for me to switch out because I've always used this. It's very accurate and it works really great. So that's what I use. So over here on this wall is another shelf unit. Well, actually there's two. There's one laying down and one standing up. And these are from Ikea. I've had these for years. My daughter bought them. I think they were Billy bookcases. I could be wrong on the name. I don't know. Uh, so down there at the bottom on the top two shelves, I have uh, plastic cases with, with different embellishment, like by Halloween, Christmas, birthdays, where I just keep everything all together. I just throw everything in there that I've used or going to use and keep them all together in that, like I have one for recipes and cooking. So anything like little embellishments that would apply to something like that, I keep in there. Uh, the drawers are just tools like heat, glue guns, uh, the glue sticks, extra blades, stuff like that goes in the drawers. Of course, here on the top is my little piano from when I was a child. Oh, in the corner, pay no attention, that's my daughter's hammocks. Uh, she didn't want to leave them outside, so they're stored right there in the corner. It's okay. Usually my door's open and you can't see that anyway. And my apron from Country Craft Creations. Um, here I have more dies uh, and just plastic cases. Down at the bottom, I keep my score tape and then I have albums and my record player and album uh, uh, music albums down there on the bottom uh, this long case up here is by Ikea it's a I think it's CD case I can't remember it hangs on the wall but I use the stampin up plastic boxes to hold stamps so that's what's in those and then I don't have very many six by six paper pads and I just kind of stick them up there at the top and then I keep some projects there, hanging on that little shelf. So in this one, the bottom I have Graphic 45 stuff, like the albums and tags and ephemera. Next I have just miscellaneous paper stuff. Then I have a rolling thing for embossing powders and uh, all that kind of stuff for embossing. The next one is tools, just different stamping tools, envelope punch boards, um, heat guns, pliers that I might need, just everything in that cubby there. And then I move on up. I have an extra one of those plastic totes that you have over there in case I need it for a project that's going somewhere. And then I, I keep my flowers in these Plano, again, fishing boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six that are filled and one that's empty. And then beside that, I have an extra uh, guillotine trimmer. The other cubbies have finished projects. Up at the top, we have finished projects on the left. And then I have plastic jars full of ribbons left from design team projects, finished projects. And then I like to keep ribbon in the very tip top in those plastic containers by occasion or colors. Like I have Halloween colors, natural, I mean, reds and greens for Christmas, natural stuff. Uh, sparkly stuff, pink, green, and yellow, uh, ivory, white, and blues. And then here in the corner, I have a ladder shelf and 
I just have all kinds of finished projects on that. I have a lot of finished projects, which I also have in that little laundry basket there with the lid. This is my grandmother's sewing machine. It uh, does not have a sewing machine in it anymore, and I changed out the knobs. They were wood knobs, and I changed them out to just pretty different colored knobs. I have my inks here and my inking boxes and brushes and stuff, and just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff here on the wall. I like to keep my twine and some ribbons, washi tape, and different mixed media type stuff there. In the drawers of the sewing machine case are just different things like uh, packages of brads that I haven't opened, um, paper clips, different kinds of fasteners, uh, just stuff like that. So that's what I have in there. And then as you come around the corner here, this basket down here, I have my um, junk journal stuff. And then of course I've got my sample um, swatches for the My Colors. And over here, under this desk, I have, that's all my Graphic 45. And I have lots of Graphic 45 that I'm just stashing. This is the ones I haven't used yet, I'm keeping. Um, here on the side, I have different photo backgrounds and large craft mats that I like to use. Um, this is my working corner <laughs> where I craft and video. So I'll show you my video setup in a bit. Um, in this basket, I have prototypes, small ones that I can't show you right now. Different punches. I keep punches in a Coke Dr. Pepper case, wooden one. I have a little TV. If I want to watch TV, I don't watch it much. And these shelves up here above, I keep a lot of finished products photos of pets that are no longer with me, my kitties and Ava, our chocolate lab that was my daughter's, and different projects, as you can see. Little thing that holds pencils and pens, envelopes, scotch tape, my tutorial printouts, and different uh, eight and a half by 11 card stock, and just different things like uh, plastic baggies and labeler and um, cords to different electronics and finished projects at the very top. Okay, so come on around. Um, this is my actual desk that I work at in front of the window. You see my computer. I have a pull-out keyboard desk here. Mouse underneath here is where I create my design team projects or anything I'm working on. Uh, my setup is have this bar thing, my husband attached to the ceiling, and then the uh, webcam is attached, oops, to this bar. And then behind that, I have the floor lamp of the um, Cricut LED lamp, the new one, and make sure I put it behind the camera and above it to eliminate shadows while I'm recording. And then this is just some things on the wall, my Kit Kat clock. And that is my magnetic board that keeps me on track. I have the to-do and thinking about it. I got this idea from Michelle Allen. Uh, I have working on it and done finally. When that gets full, the done side, I just take them all off and throw them in the trash. I keep them for a couple of months to make sure I can remember what I've done. Working on it is like the, the current design team package and then the uh, virtual retreat coming up and a gift certificate. And to-do and thinking about it is... Um, a thing I'm planning for Halloween. So this is what I'm working on right now. I have a prototype. I've got the album cover made. I'm working on the pages. And to my right, I keep this cart with different tools like my scissors and my spacers, rulers, tapes, any kind of tools I need, my punches, uh, my um, crop dolls. I mean, the very bottom I put a a, a slanting board type thing and that's where I put my current design team kits and things like that that I'm going to be working on. So I just have different tools under here and I think maybe that's it. Back here on the back I have little glass jars with other tools that I need like pens and pencils and markers, pokey tools, stuff like that. I have a little glass tray that I keep my current project that I'm working on 
ribbons and ephemera or charms, flowers, whatever I'm going to be putting on it. Down underneath, I have just different things for my paper clips and stuff that I need to do and more notebooks that I write my notes in from when I'm designing my drink. And really, that's pretty much it. This is my office right back here for my husband's business. When I'm in my craft room, I have these uh, sticky notes to take phone call messages in the phone. Very important that I have that. It hasn't bothered me yet while I've been recording this. So, yeah, I think that that pretty much covers it. I do have a closet in here. I do not keep craft stuff in that. That is strictly Christmas stuff away back there. My Christmas tree's in there, all my ornaments and stuff like that. So this was a bedroom. This is upstairs. I have a lot of two windows. So I get a lot of natural light for my videos. In Texas, it's very rare for a house to have a basement. Um, this is the upstairs uh, bedroom level. Three bedrooms up here. And then downstairs is, you know, the kitchen, dining room, and living room. Another bathroom. We have a bathroom up here, of course. Um, I've only known one house, I think. Personally, I've lived in Texas all my life, so I've only known of one house of someone who had it built with a basement, and the, the reason was for storm protection. So that would be the only reason. We don't have it for winters or anything like that. So uh, I really like my craft room up here upstairs. It's not real big, but it works for me, and I have stuff just tucked away everywhere, here, there, wherever you can find it. So anyway, thanks so much for visiting. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll catch my next tutorial videos. They are free. I design for Country Craft Creations and um, I love sharing my projects with you. Subscribe, click the bell so you'll get notification as soon as I upload a video. And give me a thumbs up so I know that you like my videos. And um, I guess that's it everybody. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.